Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lexi, and as you guys can see, I'm doing something really different, a super creepy doll Halloween look. It's a last minute look that I did for work, and I felt like you guys would enjoy it. I'm putting on my foundation. I used a color that was like about one to two shades lighter than my skin tone. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation. My primer was a mix of NYX Angel Veil and Black Radiance True Complexion Shine Control. Everything will be down in the description box and subscribe like right now if you were creeped out by that intro. Now I'm putting on a black opal finishing powder and this one is the color 3 medium so it's about two shades lighter than my skin tone i'm trying to go for that ghast ghastly or <laughs> I'm trying to go for a ghost look um ghost like you know i'm not a ghost but i wanted to make it a little bit ashy and kind of embrace that ashy look that you know porcelain dolls have i went in with a very messy bloodshot attempt at my eyes and i'm using a color from the urban Dec no i'm using a color from an elf blush kit in the color deep uh, again if i'm not right i'll have it linked down below but it's the darkest blush in that little blush palette and it gave me a really nice bloodshot look around my eyes. Obviously, I'm going really, really messy. Nothing too neat because if I was a creepy, murderous doll, I would not look super neat. <laughs> now I'm going in with a black that is from an Urban Decay palette that I have. And I think it's called Oil Slick, this color. Really nice, just again to give that grungy look to the doll. Um, and you guys will see this doll is not super orthodox. She's a little bit creepy and a little bit um, unusual, but that's kind of like what I was going for. I was really winging it and just something fun to do for Halloween. I went in with some more red on the inner corner because I wanted the black to not be so pronounced. I didn't want to like, you know, a super dark eye. I wanted to look like I was just going through the life the wrong way and I was a doll. So now I'm blushing my cheeks like crazy. Once again, using that e.l.f blush palette i'm mixing the bottom two colors of this palette for like a base and then as i go on i'll put the top lighter pink color that would be more of a doll like color but i really did like how this looked on my skin super cheap palette and the color payoff is pretty cool as you guys can see it's showing up really really nicely and there's that lighter pink color that i put on the apples of my cheeks just to really give that doll baby effect for my brows i wasn't sure what i wanted to do if i wanted to have super thin doll like brows but i opted for black which i felt like was obviously going to give the look a darker look and i opted for some normal thickness that my brows you naturally have and i just went in a little bit more to give that evil look so you know um when cartoons have an evil look their eyebrows are usually pointing in so i decided to go for more of a caricature look with this and i like how it came out the brows were more dramatic than i planned for them to be but it was cool it was definitely a different take on how a doll would normally look because dolls usually don't have thick angry looking brows I don't think what do I know and now I'm using a BH cosmetics liquid liner for my eyes I'm not gonna do a winged liner I don't think that dolls have winged liner so I just did like a regular simple black line across my eye and by the way the a liner that I used for my eyebrows was I believe a Too Faced liner that came with the mascara that I bought a while ago 
I'm putting some of that black opal deluxe finishing powder in the color medium over my brows to kind of mute the blackness a bit and kind of make it look a little bit more natural even though it looks completely not natural. I just wanted to kind of simmer it down that sharp black color and add some more powder. I was not looking pasty enough for my taste I guess. Now for the freckles. <sighs> this was fun. I wasn't sure how to do this. As you guys can see, it's pretty much me winging it. But I just put a bunch of freckles on my cheeks. And now I'm doing a very thick white liner under my eye. Because, you know, doll babies have that really, really wide eye look. I already have really big eyes. <laughs> um, so it wasn't hard to put that white liner on it and make my eyes look even bigger. If you have smaller eyes, you might need to add a little bit more white under there, but for me, it was fine. Now, under the liner, I'm going to put more liquid black liner and some lashes i feel like from a distance it definitely makes the eyes look more real because dolls definitely have long lashes on the bottom and they also have you know um liner usually on the bottom of their eyes if you wear falsies or happen to have falsies i would definitely put them on with this look because it definitely pulls everything together. I don't wear falsies on a regular basis or ever, so I didn't have any on hand, so I wasn't able to put any falsies on, but I definitely would have if I had some. Now for the lips, once again, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. I knew how to make the top lip, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to have an equally as short bottom lip or you know do a full lip I also felt like this color was definitely a doll baby pink but it didn't really match the rest of my makeup and I feel like doll babies always you know match <laughs> when it comes to their makeup so I put on a more of a pinker color like a, a deeper pink that I felt would match my makeup some more And I put some black eyeshadow in the hollows of my cheeks to kind of give my doll a more of a grunge look. I wanted her to look evil, for her to look like dark and like she'll kill you. So I opted to black eyeshadow shade up my face. And I did this on um, all the parts of the face that you usually would contour. And I felt like it definitely made her look a little bit more evil along with those super dramatic brows that <laughs> I don't know if I like them or not still guys <laughs> now I'm drawing on some stitches which was my favorite part of the look I felt like if I do this again I would definitely keep the stitches out of everything else and the white eyeliner I loved both of those so just five on each side is what I opted for and I just put little staples as well So all I did here was put my hair, my protective style, <laughs> into two ponytails and I applied my mascara that I almost, almost forgot to apply because I'm scatterbrained. So, and the look is pretty much complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that it was fun and in the spirit of Halloween, subscribe if it's your first time seeing me and definitely thumbs up this video. I hope you enjoyed it guys and I will see you in the next one.